All right, guys, welcome to the Movie Trivia Schmodown. And now before we get to Riley and Levine, yes, the match is coming up in just a second. Yet another screw-up on the Movie Trivia Schmodown, and yet again by me, yours truly. I try to wear a lot of hats here, and sometimes they don't all fit. And I can tell you that something that happened on this past Tuesday, Team ETC and Tough Beats, they had a really good battle. And at the during the second round, Tough Beats was only asked five questions. They should have been asked six questions. It was overlooked. It happened. And so we decided what we're going to do is we're going to give Tough Beats another chance to answer the question they would have gotten. And if they did it, then we would play the round three over again. Now, I, the questions kept coming in. Well, wait a minute. Why did you do? Why didn't you do that with uh, Freddie Prince Jr. when when they did that during the, the, the Force Bros. and and the Council? The difference is in that match you had it was pretty much like the game played out the whole entire thing and the ref blew a call. This is like leaving a full a full quarter out. It's like you left you left you left a part of the game out. Part of the game has to be played. So. Without any further ado, I'm going to show you this is Team Tough Beats getting their last question in order to get to the third round once again. Here it is. The following quote can be heard in which film? I could have been a contender. Could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. On the waterfront. We're going to the third round. That's the question they would have got. That's it. They got it. Do I think it was a little bit of an easier question? Sure. But doesn't matter. That's what they got. They were able to make it. So here we are now, and we are going to round three. Now, because Perry Nemiroff hit her one-pointer, Tough Beats is actually up now 14-13. The TKO is gone. ETC will now have a chance to tie it and a chance to win it right now. And here they are, Tough Beats and ETC. Guys, uh, how are you feeling over God there? God damn it, Chris. This is so <laughs> pointless. And also, not surprising that you would screw that up because you can't even get me and Elliot's names correct on air. I so. told you, but I told you I was trying to make it look like you could score points, so I was calling you oh, Elliot. Oh, yeah, no, thank you. I yeah. actually did score points the last time, and I, I plan on doing it again today. All right, today. well, let's see. You're going to get a chance to prove yourself, too. Tough beats, you're really just going to have to sit there and either win or lose right <laughs> just now. Just sit there and take I'm it. I'm going to sit here and look pretty. This I'm is just going to sit here and send all the bad vibes your way. Yeah. No. I hope you can handle it. Is that your this, this is my mean face. Can you tell All right, all right. Yes. All right. Let's, let's go. Pull it I back. Here we go. Ken Napsock, sure. you're here to help me out here on the color. Um, Christian, I wasn't even supposed to be here today. No, and you dressed a lot better uh, than I am. Yeah, I'm Clerks, keeping score. Clerks, I got he it. Won. I win. He won. Game's over. All right. I also, by the way, am keeping backup score on this. Piece of paper. Thank you. Technology right. at its finest. ATC, you picked category number 24. That is a one-pointer. The category is Angelina Jolie movies. Who will be answering the one-pointer? <laughs> That'll be me. All right, Ricky, in order to tie the game. What actor starred as a tetraplegic forensics analyst with Angelina in the thriller The Bone Collector? <laughs> oh, tetraplegic? Yep. The Bone Collector. Five. Oh. Four. Uh, three. Two. Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Close. Well, we're not going into overtime. Denzel Washington was the answer. Oh. So, ah, okay. oh. all right. So no it is worries. not going to be sudden death either. Oh, either ETC can win the game with their three or five, or it can be a twist of fate here and Tough Beats can win. All right, Elliot, you have a three-pointer. You picked category 21 for your three-pointer, and that's Action Adventure. Who starred as the main villain in Mission Impossible 3? Philip Seymour Hoffman. And your winner! Oh, okay. Off the set, Ken. They're leaving. They, wow. they, they, they hit the three pointer. I'll meet you guys at Island. Yeah, they're they're walking. They just they slammed the door. They left the studio. And tough beats. Look, guys, it's not a TKO. Hey, you took that away. You took it away, and there you go. So, unfortunately, the law still stands. ETC has left the building, and now we can commence with Riley versus Levine. Here's a little bit of that story. And your winner, John Roga! I'm always going to be a contender. Anybody who's going to take me on is going to be fearful. I'm going to come back. Don't worry. I'm going to get some wins. I'm coming back. Doesn't matter where. Mark, it's been fun watching you from across the room, but it's going to be even more fun going head to head with you. I care if I win or lose. I just care that I play a good, clean, honest game.
today I'm going head to head with Mark Yodi Riley, and the truth of the matter is, I adore the guy. He's got the heart of a champion. He was the champion, but this is just how the dice roll. I gotta work my way through the former champ if I want a shot at that title. Look who's back. It's Yodi. That's right. And as we saw last week, Bibiani, bye bye. This is a wide open field, folks. And you know what? I missed that belt. This is definitely a must win for the Inglorious One. I still only let one loss bother me, and that's the loss to Baby Carrots Ellis himself. I was always going to lose to Clark Wolf. That was inevitable. She's too fierce. Where's my question? In what wow. country does the movie Bonjour take place in? <laughs> but the team loss that I, I suffered to Tough Beats. That was ridiculous. I mean, the wheel could not have been less in our favor and more in their favor. And that ended the match right then and there. We might as well just walked out. Look, I'm just saying I feel like I'll do okay as long as the worst possible wheel-spinning scenario on both sides does not happen again. I feel okay with my chances. Now, I've gone against a number of bad people in the schmo now. Dewberry, Roca, JTE. And now I find myself in a particular situation, I'm going against a good guy, a friend, Sam Levine. But you know what? That belt, it's out there. It's wide open now. The field of Schmodown, it's all open for the taking. So unfortunately, I gotta go through Sam because I want that belt back. Look good, right? I do not have a good relationship with that wheel. That wheel fucking hates me. You know what it is? Was that wheel assembled in Boston? It must have been. It's a fucking toilet city produced a toilet wheel. That's right. I'm calling you out, Boston. And your shitty wheel. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. It's been a tough road, you know? A lot of people put me on this weird pedestal. I won the belt. I was the first to do it. But as you see in the schmodown, you hit some bumps, okay? You have some rough patches. People do podcasts about you because of it. But that's all part of the game. A real champion takes those bumps, they get up, and they keep moving forward. And that's what I'm going to do. Riley, uh, you are absolutely a champion, with the heart of a champion. And uh, I think it's going to be a great match today. May the best competitor win. Sam Levine, I like you, man. We're friends. But that belt is right in front of me. So I'm going to have to go through you and get that belt back. It's a hard road, but I'm going to do it. Yet another great match. I'm Christian Harloff. I'm Ken Abzak. Mark Ellis is on the road eating fast food and not telling anyone about it. Uh, well, we'll know once he's back on camera. All right, guys, it's time for another great match. And this one, we are in the singles league here. There are big implications here, Ken. You've got the number three contender, the former champion, Mark Yodi Riley, going head to head against the inglorious one, Sam Levine, the number six contender. Absolutely. Mark Riley is a man that brings uh, a certain aura and, and uh, this, this gravitas to his trivia. But he's had some tough losses. He's had some tough losses, but, I mean, he was the first big superstar of the league. He won the 2014 tournament. And ever since then, he's been trying to get that road back since he lost the title to Dan Merle. John Roca twice has stopped that opportunity. So in order to get back to either a John Roca or someone else, he's got to beat Sam. They're both good dudes. They're both friends. But in order to get that shot to the title, this is a must win for both because Sam Levine is on the same road. Everyone, when you announced Sam Levine was going to be in the league, oh, that's your next champion right there. He's also had some bumps in the road. A lot of pressure sometimes could be put on that mantle of being the next chosen one. I don't know if he's cracked under that pressure or he just, you know, has faced some tough competition. That's sometimes the way it rolls. A little bit. He's coming off of a win. Let's not forget that. He beat True. Finstock in his last match. He is 3-2. and two, I guess that counts. As where Yodi, is, Yodi Mark Riley is 6-3. and three. This is got. This is a must win for either one of these guys. So someone's got to go towards the ups and someone's got to go towards the down. Here we go. Are you ready for the tail of the tape? 
Let's do it. Mark Riley, as he said, the number three contender. His strengths are Star Wars pictures, animation pictures, and one of the only people in the universe that is strong in scores and soundtracks. And how about the inglorious one, Sam Levine? He's got skills in classics. He's got skills in 80s. And he's got skills in not liking a lot of the rules for the game. Well, we're going to find out exactly what they like today because it's time to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Yeah. Introducing first, representing Chicago, with a record of three wins, two defeats. He is the number six ranked contender. Ladies and gentlemen, the inglorious one, Sam Lovie. Confidently comes out, he's comfortable. He's weird. such a nice weird. Guy. It's, it, you know what it is? It's always the, it's that same entrance. It's the, it's the right. calm, collected. <laughs> yeah. He just comes in, he sits down, and he's ready to go. Calm, collected, ready to play. Roka yelling at him from the crowd as Roka does. He likes to get under people's skin. And his opponent, representing the Wolves of Steel, with a record of six wins, three defeats. He is the 2014 Ultimate Showdown winner and the former Movie Trivia Showdown Champion of the World, Mark Yoni Riley! Oh, look at that! Oh, he's doing a little Tarantino to him! Yeah! Oh, he's Tarantinoing him! He, I get it now! Oh, I like it! Mark he's always running out of the got crowd. kind of a different way! Oh, now he's way. filming him! Oh, he's, he's filming, filming Sam! Oh, I see. Oh, I, see. Oh, I get it. Right. He's put him down. out of focus. Focus out. Out of focus. Out of focus. Out of focus. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Uh, All right. Now he's doing. Cookies. There you oh, go. Look, look at that. Like that. Oh. Okay. Good. Bringing back memories to San Rubino. Yes, right. All right. All right. All right. There you go. Yeah. Great entrance by Mark Bryant. I uh. I like what you're doing here with the whole Mr. Pink vibe. Yeah, yeah, sure. But you look a little more like my limo driver. So. Oh, oh! Look at a little smack you. talk from the inglorious one. I like it. Just saying. What, what is that? Is that the game? Oh. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, let's get ready to rock here, guys. So round number one. It's going to work like this. The contestants will get eight questions from eight predetermined categories, each, each worth one point apiece. They will write the answer down down when they reveal their answer they will have to also say the answer the freddie prince jr rule all right <laughs> so we are going to start in the category of animated which tim burton directed film has the tagline loving you it's like loving the dead there you go. I mean, uh, two competitors both writing down yeah, there. No hesitation? No, it doesn't seem like it. And out. both dropping the pen. And mm -hmm. all right. And Mark Riley. Corpse Bride. And, uh, that is correct. Sam. Corpse Bride. That's correct. One point. Tie Tied game. Up all right. one. Good. Question number two, gentlemen. Category action adventure. Which martial arts star plays a villain in Lethal Weapon 4? Lethal Weapon 4. Oh, Josh McCuga likes that question. I like that movie. Better than most, I think. I enjoyed it. Yeah. I had some laughs. All right. Five, four, three. Sam. Mr. Jet Li. That's correct. Uh, I shoot. Jet Li. Oh, oh. two, two. A little team. I like that. Very nice. Oh, I like that. Man. Pull a little John Roca on him cool, there. I like cool. that. A little uh, LA yeah, Connection improv. Have fun, guys. Yeah, all, right. Fun. All, right. All, right. all right. All right. And now we go into category number three, which is comedy. Before he moved to Los Angeles, from what state was Chris Brander, the character played by Ryan Reynolds in Just Friends? Which state? I know for a fact that Mark Riley despises this movie. He just does. So, well, he. Five. Well, sometimes you know your enemies, you know? Four, three, two, one. Uh, Minnesota? Incorrect. Hmm. I believe he is from my home state of New Jersey. That Look is correct. That. that is correct. Sam Levine taking the lead. The Inglorious One looks confident. All right. Looks confident. The Inglorious One goes up by one. Category drama, gentlemen. The character of Ricky Fitz can be found in what Sam Mendes film? See, these are two right. trivia masters. Ken. That's right. And they're really playing masters of their craft at the top of their game. All right. And five, four, three, two, one. One. Sam. 
It would be the Academy Award winner, American Beauty. That's correct. Correct. American Beauty. Correct. Wow. There you go. Tip it for Tad here, four to three. Is an early slugfest. All right. Now in the category of family. Who played the owner of the beast in the film The Sandlot? Sam writing down feverishly. He was just really quick. Riley trying to figure it out. Trying to keep up right now with the glorious one. And we've got five, four, three, two. Mark Riley. James Earl Jones. Correct. And Sam. Uh, nobody tell her I said this, but uh, he dated my uh, mom in the 60s, James Earl Jones. <laughs> wow. Oh, there you go. That's right. awesome. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. All that right. Is learning, learning new facts yeah. here every day, Ken. Add that to his uh, Wikipedia page there. All right. Here we go. Category uh, six is fantasy sci-fi. The Prisoner of Azkaban is which film numerically in the Harry Potter universe? John Rocco screaming at himself in the corner. Yeah, John Rocco's throwing his wand at the competitors. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. R Mark Riley. Number three, third, Trace. Number three, that is correct. Ah. Sam. I went with Sam four. misses for the first oh. time. And that was tie a game. tie game. Look at that. Tie game. Wow. Tie game. All right. In the category of horror thriller, in which Christopher Nolan film does Carrie Ann Moss play Natalie? Sam, this right away, Riley. Right yeah. Yes. All Riley, right. Riley looks extremely three confident. Comes. All right, here we go. Yeah. Five, four, three. Both have their answers ready. All right, Sam. That would be Memento. That is correct. Mark. Memento. Tie game still 6-6. Six, wow. six. Man, this is, there's a reason why they are ranked as high as they are. Absolutely. All right. Final question in round one, gentlemen. Category is new release. New release. Who played how the drill sergeant of Andrew Garfield's character in Hacksaw Ridge? Getting him with the new releases here. Tripping him up. They both look tripped up on this mm -hmm. one. See, this is the new release category that I enjoy because... A little curveball. It, well, it makes you go and want to go see movies. Oh, now. you have to leave the house. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Pan down. All right, Riley. Vince Vaughn? That's correct. Mm. One point. And Mark Question Riley mark takes the lead with that one. Seven points Ooh. in the first round for Mark Riley taking that one-point lead from Jeez. Sam Levine. What a round. I All right. Seen it. <laughs> now we get to round number two. Josh McCuga will bring out Sam Levine's best friend in the world, The Wheel. The this wheel is coming wheel. out. The wheel is the coming wheel out. The wheel of death, you asshole wheel. It All right. Fucking All right. Wheel. So the wheel I is now wheel. coming out, and here is how it works. Round number two, the contestants will spin the wheel. If it lands on a category they do not like, they can spin one more time, unless, of course, it lands on opponent's choice. Each Point, excuse me, each question will be worth two points apiece unless they go to multiple choice. Then it is one point apiece. Mark Riley, you have a one point lead. Would you like to go first or second? I'm going to go first. Go ahead, please spin the wheel. He's brave and bold. Grabs the base of the wheel to give it a good spin. And it's going to land and on. That is a good movie release date. Movie dates. release date. Yeah. Riley wants He's right going out again. Of oh, he wants out. Going again. He wants right out of Scott Mance's spinning. Yeah. Game. Spielberg. 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 That's a good category for Riley. Mark, I get four questions in the category of Steven Spielberg. Here is question one. Don't forget you have multiple choice if you need it. In AI, artificial intelligence, what is the name of the prototype mecha played by Haley Joel Osment? Multiple choice. Is it A, David, B, Trevor, C, Cole, D, Walter? I repeat, please. A, David. B, Trevor. C, Cole. D, Walter. Five. A, David. That is correct. Wow, one point for Riley. Good guess. Question number two. What does Peter have to do in order to fly in Hook? Five, four, three. He has to find his happy thought. That's Think correct. happy thoughts. Yeah, that's Think correct. happy thoughts. That's that is a two-point answer. All right. <laughs> Taking his time. Taking his time. Someone's thinking happy thoughts in the right. crowd. There there you go. Go. Two points for Riley. Yeah. That was big. Question number three. E.T. gets drunk on what brand of beer? Budweiser. Ooh. Incorrect. Damn it. Sam oh, 
Is it... Is it Miller? Oh. Incorrect. Coors. 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 Oh. The other one. Coors. You of course. But of Sam course. missing out on that steal. That was, that that was, was key. That would have been a big steal there. For, this is the last one. All right. Somewhere Mark Ellis is unhappy with you guys not knowing that answer. I have a funny feeling that Mark Ellis wrote that question. Mm, yeah. <laughs> question four. Question four. In Bridge of Spies, what did Donovan tell his family was the purpose of his trip when in actuality he was in the Soviet Union? Multiple choice. A, rock climbing, B, fishing, C, deer hunting, D, white water rafting. Repeat, please. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> <laughs> A, rock climbing, B, fishing, C, deer hunting, D, white water rafting. Five. Fishing. That's correct. One point. All right. So Riley does, has a nice little round for himself. They're mm -hmm. 11 to 6 after the, his round. All right. Now it's time for Sam. You're up. Please spin. Boy, I sure hope the wheels is kind to me. <laughs> Sam and the wheel have a long history of they hating each other. do not like each other, this wheel and Sam. And it lands on Tom Cruise. Yeah. Tom Cruise. It was is so split between Tom Cruise and 90s. It's a little bit on Tom Cruise. I can see it from on this side. Is he gonna just keep on Tom Cruise. It's a little it bit. Is absolutely it's split. Like right in the middle. Speaking in the middle, the cook is on the pants middle. That'll be free spin. Are splitting the nation. Leaning towards 90s. Towards it's leaning 90s. towards 90s. All okay. right, leaning towards 90s. I'll take it. All right, so it is leaning towards 90s, and Sam is going to take 90s films. Here we go. In Pulp Fiction, <laughs> what is the rumor behind why Marcellus Wallace had Tony Rocky Horror thrown from a four-story balcony? Because he gave Mrs. Wallace a foot rub. That's correct, for two points. No All right. Hesitation. In the 1999 Thomas Crown Affair remake, what does Crown steal? Uh, painting. That's correct. Wow. All right, two more points. Which Academy Award-nominated film from the 90s featured the following quote? Neri, take a train to Rome. Light a candle for the Archbishop. Jesus. Could you, I'm sorry, could you give me the whole question? Neri, oh, sorry. Uh, what Academy Award nominated film from the 90s featured the following quote? Neri, take a train to Rome. Light a candle for the Archbishop. The Godfather Part 3. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> Two points. Wow. Look at that, it's a big shot there. Wow. 12, 11, and we get to the last question for Sam. What Spike Lee movie has a lead character by the name of Jesus Shuttlesworth? This one I will need multiple choice. Is it A, he got game, B, jungle fever, C, do the right thing, D, Crooklyn? Uh, A, he got game. One point he more for it. Sam Levine. What a round for the Inglorious one. 13-11 now as we head to round number three. All right, round number three. Here's how this round works. The competitors will pick three numbers from one to 24. They will have a one-pointer, a three-pointer, and then a five-pointer should it come to that. Sam Levine, you're in the lead. Please pick three numbers from one to 24. Uh, I will go with three. 21 and 12. 3, 21 and 12. Mark Riley. 7, 9, 14. 7, 9 and 14. All right, Mark Riley, because you are down right now, you will go first. Category number 7 for your one pointer, you chose classics. Mm, one of his strengths. What is the name of the character played by James Stewart in A Wonderful Life? George. Full name, please. Five, four, three, two. George Miller. Looking for George Bailey. Bailey. George oh. Bailey. All right, now Riley. Merry Christmas, movie house. Your, your three-pointer Oscar movies. An overweight. Abused, illiterate teen enrolls in an alternative school in what 2009 Oscar-nominated film? Uh, 
Repeat the question. An overweight, abused, illiterate teen enrolls in an alternative school in what 2009 Oscar-nominated film? Five, four. Precious? That's correct. That's correct. For three points. All right, now we jump back. Whoa. Riley avoiding the TKO, and now we jump back to Sam Levine, who picked category number three for his one-pointer. I'll be asking the question here, uh, Sam, and you got the category of action-adventure. All right. In the movie 300, where is the invading army from? Sparta. It's incorrect. Ooh. Looking for Persia. Ah! All right. Never saw it. It's a yeah, movie. that's right, guys. Good never movie. saw it. Good movie. <laughs> it came out the same time as Zodiac. I saw that instead. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Uh, you chose. It was an either or situation. All right. For three All right. Point, right? Yeah, so three pointer. Three pointer. Point. Point. All right, Sam. You now have your three point question. All right. Let's you go back chose the, lead. the number twenty one. Can you retake the lead with this question from the category comic book movies? Oh boy. What kind of animal did Mickey Rourke's character in Iron Man two have as a pet? Five, four, three. A lizard? Incorrect. For a bird, a cockatoo. So it comes. Where's my Boyd? It comes I down want my to this. They never show that one on TV. Sam Levine has to hit this five pointer, or Mark Riley will now win the game. For your five point question, Sam, you chose the number 12. Category is dramas. Name one of the three films in which director Joe Wright cast Kira Knightley as his star. This is it. It comes down to this. Wow. It's one of the three films. Riley on the verge. And five, four, three. Atonement? Sam's That's correct. 18, 14. <laughs> Sam throws it in to the five-pointer. It comes down to the final question. Mark Riley once again needs to hit the final question in order to win the game. Number 14, for your five-pointer, you chose Marvel films. How did Blade gain the traits of both a human and a vampire? His mother was bitten by a vampire when he was in the womb. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Mark yeah. Riley! Wow. Wow. They hug like gentlemen. I think this was a fairly fun yes. fight. And Perfect. it just came down to knowing not just Thor's uh, outfit or Iron Man's drinking problems. It, it's a question about Blade. That is deep knowledge. That was deep knowledge on both of their parts. Yeah. I mean, both of these guys came to play. What a strong round Oof. by Sam Levine in the second. What a strong round by Riley in the third. That was an absolute battle. I would pay a lot of money to watch them play again right now. What a great match that was. But now we're going to be talking to Jen Sturger, who has both Mark Riley and Sam Levine. Schmodown fans, I'm here with your winner, Riley. Were you nervous going into that last round? It got a little weird there for oh, you. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah, I was nervous. Look at Sam Levine. I mean, that guy is one of the best competitors in this league, and it was a pleasure to go up against him. What a match. But, yeah, I was nervous. I thought he was going to take it. There was a couple questions there that I just can't believe I dropped, like E.T. Which one? E.T. E.T. E Come on. But yeah, I blanked. Mark Ellis is freaking out Yeah, right Mark now. Ellis is somewhere right now giggling his ass <laughs> off. But you know what? I, look, I was nervous. I'm glad I got the win. You know, that was a tough fought one. Um, Were you shocked that you got ahead of him in the first round with the uh, with the Harry Potter question? I, uh, you know, I, I, right off the bat when we had the same answer and then it went back and forth and I lost one and then he lost one. I'm like, yep, we're going it the distance. It was a complete slugfest. We were going to go the distance. I, I knew it right then and there. Sam was on point. He knew his stuff. I had to bring my game. I'm glad I did. That was a fun match. Makes me realize I like this game a lot. Now we'll just see how it goes. I mean, I see that belt. It's out there. It was very Rocky Apollo. I'm going to tell you that. Yeah, there so it is. So you're supposed to face off against JTE next. Oh. 
JTE. How are you feeling about this? Well, you know, JTE's. Hey, hey oh, partner. Oh, What's partner? going on? I'm good. I just, uh, you know, I, I'm here uh, because I, I wanted to congratulate you, obviously. Thank you. Um, but I also wanted to throw down a challenge. What? What? Yeah. You're challenging him? Me? Oh. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sure maybe that'll happen, and if it does, it'll be hard. But no, I actually want to get in there and get at JTE before you do. Yeah! What? Woo! You yeah. heard it here, guys. This is an exclusive. Yeah, so JTE, uh, it's your decision <laughs> if you accept. I love this. I love this so much. Well wow. done, Clark. Those well, sound like fighting words. That's my partner right there. Wolves of Steel representing. I like it. But you know what that means. I play the winner of that. Uh -oh. That could get weird. That might get weird. That could get but... very weird. Oh my God. What? Until then, congratulations on your big win today. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was amazing. Well. Back to you guys. That was a tough, tough loss out there today, Sam. How are you feeling? I, I feel actually perfectly fine after a loss like that. It was a one-point victory. It was not like a shutout or anything. It was as close and competitive a match as I could really hope for. I like a good fight out here. Um, and I mean, ultimately that was going to come down to any one question really, because if I had had the 50-50 shot of saying Coors instead of Miller, I would have wound up winning the game. So, so I don't, true. it's it's all right, that's, that's how it happens. And honestly, with a guy like Riley, I don't mind losing that way because I feel like no one after seeing that can say, oh, he doesn't belong there because I'd like to see them get atonement and the Godfather part three without that multiple was a fucking haymaker. choice. That was a haymaker. Audience yeah. went nuts for you on that one. That, they were very kind. So what's next for you now after this loss? Uh, I'm going to go have sex with a couple of models on a bed of cash in Quentin Tarantino's house. So, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys next month or something. No? Okay, the month after. That's endurance. Back to you guys. Well, there you have it. How about that? How about Clark Wolf challenging JTE to a match? That's pretty interesting. It's about time someone stood up to that bully JTE, right? I know. You know, I know. he's been running around here with that attitude, little evil. I, I, I think that's a great match. But you hear both of these guys. You hear Mark Riley and the great respect he obviously has Absolutely. for Sam Levine. And then you hear Sam Levine saying the exact same thing about Mark Riley. And Sam Levine, this is funny because in a loss, this is the best that Sam, I've, we've seen Sam Levine so far. Sometimes, even if you get an L in that column there, you're going to show your skills to the world and we know what you're capable of. We yeah. already knew he was capable, but I think this was a coming out party in a way for this, Sam. This was it. I mean, I think that anybody should be scared going up against Sam Levine because that, I mean, man, what a match that was. And you can't blame the wheel this time because the wheel was nice to him. Oh. Um, but there we go. We're going to... Uh, I, I'm, I'm just taken back by what a great match we saw here today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Look, we got a lot of great matches coming up. Next week, we it is all about the go home because you're going to have on Tuesday the Wangers versus Real Rejects. The loser of that match will have to split up as a team. And then on Friday, next Friday, the retirement match between Josh the Wildman Makuga against Finstock. If Makuga loses, he's he can't compete in singles for a year. If Finstock loses, he's banned from Schmodown entirely for a year. That's going to happen next week. So make sure you check that out. And for you guys, go to the Movie Trivia Schmodown page. Join that. Uh, all these fantasy updates. Josh McCuga will give you all the fantasy updates. This was a match. Mark Riley now will most likely, we thought he was going to play JTE, but he's not. He's going to play the winner of JTE and Clark Wolf now. Riley's right back in the picture. He is back in, whether he wants to be or not. I know this tears at him. It eats at him trying to get in this ring. It's it just his psyche takes a hit. It's a lot to come out of that man. He's here. He's, He's still back. the champ. The champ He's still is back. a contender. Sitting up pretty at 7-3. and three. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the Movie Trivia Schmodown. We'll see you on next Tuesday. All right, Movie Trivia Schmodown fans here with your fantasy update after a huge match between Sam Levine and Mark Riley. If you have Mark Riley in your fantasy league, 19 strong points on the back-breaking last question of a vampire biting a mother's stomach. It was quite weird. If you had Sam Levine, cut it in half. You got nine. Either way, big fantasy day. If you had Mark Riley, even bigger day. If you had Sam Levine and you were thinking he may or may not lose, he's got a big match coming up. Stay with Sam in your fantasy league.
Hey guys, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It'll help you stay up to date with everything we've got going on here at Collider.